Hello and welcome back to Civil Field Trainers. In this prior class, we'll be looking at uh, this model. Uh, one of my students had sent me this particular file. If you just show it to me here in uh, civilfam 047gmailcom you can send your files here as well. The problem was uh, uh, the file that he had sent, it went to the spam folder because he had not mentioned any content. Okay, hello, hi, anything, nothing was there. Just the files were there. So Google marked the spam and uh, we were trying to understand where the files went and here they were. All right, so if you're sending me any file, please make sure that you add some content to it, add it out about it, you know, just, just mention something and then attach your files, okay? Uh, so let's come back to the problem at hand. The problem is very simple. If I just show it to you here, uh, modeling is done, everything is done, everything is fine, but the issue is one member is failing, okay? Just one single member is failing and no matter how much he increases the sizes, this particular member is not becoming safe. So the member is, uh, if I just show it to you here, just a second, let's do a snow. Let's click here. Very file members passed. Just do a yes. You can see. So first floor slab, uh, second floor slab, sorry. You can see this particular one member is failing for us. Now we have to make this member safe. Now I have already worked in this project. And uh, if I just show it to you here, if I just click here and uh, okay. So here if you can see, uh, none of the members are failing as such. All right. Whereas in this one, we have this one member that is failing and we are not able to make it safe. So I'll solve this problem in three steps. All right. The first step would be we will check the model sizes, what sizes he has given. So I'll just check the member that is failing first. If I right click on it. Okay. The size is 350 cost 800. It's a very huge size. Okay. No problem. Uh, we'll click on this one. We'll check. It is 300 cost 600 again. For a project as small as this one, the sizes are quite huge. Uh, maybe I think he has applied that quick load here. Let's go for define so, load cases. Okay, earthquake is there. How is applied combinations, load combinations? Okay, default combinations, all of them are. So earthquake is there in this by default. So, okay. So what I'm going to do first is, first and foremost, the sizes are too huge. I'll decrease the sizes. I'll go for define, session properties, frame sections. We have got 350 cross 800. Let's click this here. Let me just check where only has assigned what. Go for select, select uh, properties, frame sections. Okay, 350 cross 800. Let's select this. Okay, so all of these are 350 cross 800. Okay, next 350 cross 300. Uh, and this one, all right. Then this one, okay, all of them are 300 cross 600 majorly. All right, not, not an issue. We'll make it safe. So the first step that I'm going to do is go to define session properties, frame sections, and I'm going to decrease this size. Why am I doing it? Because your building should be both safe and economic. Okay, right now the building is not economic because the size are too huge. So we'll modify this, we'll make it 300 cross 400. Same thing I'm doing here, 300 plus 400, modify for show rebars. Uh, okay, everything is fine inside here. Let's click on okay, okay, okay. First step, we have decreased the sizes. Uh, one concrete member was failing. So let's go for select again, select object type let's uh not object type select select let's go for properties frame sections 350 cross 800 set all of them as well let's replace them go to assign frame section property i'm going to go for 300 cross 400 size apply it okay because too small right barely there's any length over there so providing 800 is not good uh same thing i'll do for 300 cross uh, 450 i'll set all of them i'll go for assign frame section properties and I'm going to make it 300 cross 400. Let's apply this and let's make it okay. All right, let's close this members now. So we have done this much. Now if I run the analysis, more wins will fail. Let's see. Uh, I'm going for this option now. Let's do the detailing and see. Okay. So very five members passed and currently 35 beams are failing. Okay. So let's right click and just say show selected objects only. So you can see all these beams are failing. And now what I have to do is just click on them and see where they are failing. Okay. Off the bat, you can see the top and bottom still are safe. There's no problem with top and bottom still. Everything is coming safe. But the issue is where? Issue is here in the shear still place. Okay. The tie bars that you provide, the section is not sufficient to support them. Okay, that's what we are trying to see here. And I think see the values are quite huge because earthquake load is coming onto it. So the shear still requirement is quite high here. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to increase the size slightly. Go for section properties, frame sections. We are still in the step one. 
okay we are still messing around with the sizes so i'll unlock the model go for define section properties frame sections i don't need this section let me just delete the property right now okay then we have this property i'll go for modify by show property i'll make it 350 okay 350 same thing i'm going to do here i'll make it 350 and i'll click on ok now the question might come why are you making it 350 or 400 or something because the width should be as same as the column width okay column width is 350 beam width can be we can make it 350 don't go beyond that let's do this much let's click on okay 30 members were failing last time let's run the analysis again now i'll check this option okay so as you can see uh, very few members passed now only 19 members are failing okay let me just right click and say show set objects only okay so only this many members are filling now so the first step we were messing around with sizes now in seconds what i'm going to do is i'm going to release the torsions for this because all of them are filling in shear that basically means the tie bar uh, you know uh, area is not sufficient for them to uh, accommodate for the shear forces that are coming onto it so now, now i cannot decrease the shear forces because earthquake has already been applied and everything but i can do what i can release the torsion for it so torsion is actually taken care by what your tie bars only so let me go for uh, assign i'll just show it to you the frames release by partial fixity okay if i do this and i click on torsion here torsion releases i'll get an error here okay if i apply it like this see i'm getting something like this so let me just close this let's come back to the building okay so i'm getting an error so how do i release torsion in step two we'll try to release torsions now so i can go for define section properties frame sections this is the section that i'm using right now i'll go for modify by show property here okay i'll go for modify by show rebars uh, sorry modifiers okay modify by show modifiers and i'll make it what torsion constant as 0.01 i can't make it zero it'll give me another error but what i'm doing right now is i'm releasing 99.9% .9 of torsional constant here okay for all the beams because all my beams are what 350 cross 400 only all right so i'll do okay so for those of you who couldn't follow go for define go for section properties go for frame sections come to the frame section that you want click on modify by show property then here you'll get this option called as modifiers property modifiers and here you can make torsional constant as 0 0.01 if you do this much click ok click ok click ok and let's run the analysis again okay this is our second step okay even now some uh, members are failing so we'll click on this where if all members pass i think 19 of them were failing last time now only four of them are failing so right click show select objects only i'll do all right so these members are failing for me right now so the basic thing is because earthquake load is being applied okay the more stiffness the more stiffer our material is the more load it will attract that's why we use shear walls shear walls are more stiff they'll attract more load thereby uh, making sure your columns will not fail or your beams will not fail same thing is happening here also okay because we have given the beams here here these smaller beams are more stiff compared to the longer beams okay that's why what is happening they're attracting more load so what i can do is i can increase the size of this particular columns okay because i know that these things are failing i'll do what i'll increase the sizes of these columns in this direction sorry these beams in this direction okay i'll try to release it like this randomly uh, let me just go for all stories let me just select this let me just hit escape first right click show all objects okay unlock the model four beams are failing for us let's go for all stories now okay let me just show it to you that i did this already so that way uh, let me just make it uh, this one i'll just show you the sizes here uh, assignments let's go for section properties apply okay so when i was working on this this is what i did i made them as what 500 500 and 500 so the same thing i'm going to do here because it took me some time to come up with this configuration of beams so that the entire model can come safe so i'm just going to come over here i'm just going to select this beam all stories this beam and this beam okay these three beams i'm going to select i'm going to go to assign okay one more thing i have to do is i have to go to define and define the property first frame sections i'll modify this property it is 350 cross 500 i believe 
350 cross 500 same thing I'm going to do here that is going to be uh, 500 that is going to be 350 let me just cross verified once with uh, the property that I had okay it's 350 cross 500 only okay so let's do an okay let's do okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to assign frames section properties 350 cross 500 I'll just apply it over here just click on okay so basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to attract more loads on these beams that way these smaller beams will not take that much amount of load because bigger beams more stiffness it will go there okay so let's run analysis now and uh, let's click on this okay let's click on this sorry sorry just a second but if I remember past okay five of them are failing okay I didn't release a torsion for them I have to release a torsion for them let's go for define section properties frame sections uh, 3 because 500 what if I show property this one and there is a torsion to 0 0.01 let's click on ok let's click on ok let's click on ok and now let's run the analysis again design by check all right when I come past okay three of them are still failing 350 cross 400 what size have I given over here okay I've decreased the size over there let's unlock the model let's go for define section properties frame sections modify add copy of property beam 350 cross 350 okay let's click on ok let's click on ok i'll go to all stories select this bin all of them go to assign frame section properties 350 cost 350 I'll do apply okay let's run the analysis and see my problem was passed and you can see all of them are passed all right so increasing the size is not a default option always you have to decrease the size also so if you compare this to the initial sizes it was 350 cross 600 and everything and this was 350 cross 800 the building is uh, now safe as well as it is not that expensive it is economic okay so that's your job as a social designer to make your building economic and safe both all right that's why i took up this class because this is very important because by default students always increase the sizes but when you have earthquakes and uh, you know wind loads involved that time you have to be uh, mindful of the kind of failure that you're getting all right so i hope this class was clear if you have a doubt please let me know uh, i'll update this class on udemy as well all right thank you